If you are the parent of a teenager, and you've been around a teenager, you realize they kind of speak in their own language. So that language, though, now closer to hieroglyphics than it is to English. We're talking about mm. emojis they include in their text messages. And a teenager recently informed our tech guy, Jamie Tucker, what some of them mean and some of them you might need to worry about. Starting at a teenager to give up some of these secrets was not easy. One teenager told me they felt they were betraying their entire generation. But what they told me, I think many parents will find nothing to laugh about. There are nearly 2,000 emojis spread across Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, texting. Teenagers say they use it for two reasons. It's faster, and unless you speak the language, it all looks pretty innocent, but it's not. This gas pump, for instance, isn't about filling up the car's tank. For some teens, it stands for pot. Gotta get gas? No, gotta get weed. This electric plug stands for a drug connection. Leaves and a tree, that's marijuana too. Pair them with a plug, they may be going to get drugs. And that also uses a puff of smoke. 420 is jargon for marijuana. Has been for a long time. Teenagers are using it for text messages. Emoji also being used to communicate about sex. Images of cucumbers and eggplant are pretty obvious. So is this peach and seashell and the seemingly innocent face of a cat. It may be combined with eyeballs, which can mean a request for a new picture. And combined with this image of a tongue is another explanation not safe for this newscast. Younger students use emoji to bully other students. This frog face sometimes is used to call people ugly. Guess what, though? As teenagers have discovered parents are starting to learn their secret code, they've moved on to Japanese acronyms or emoticons. I don't understand these, but if you happen to find them on your teenager's phone, just copy and paste into a search engine, and you're likely to get the answer. And FYI, there's a consortium of people in the tech industry that get together and meet and introduce new emojis they just met. 51 new emoji will be out later this year. Parents will go back to school again, I guess. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. And law enforcement agencies are in on many of the emojis that teenagers are using, and there are apps that you can download to help learn the language. We're not sure if that includes the Japanese language, though. So. Do you remember when we just passed notes in school? That's all we did.